What's up everybody, this is Ven bringing you another Mock Spotlight where we take apart what you build. For today's episode we'll be taking a look at Vatu V9, created and posted to our message boards by Tyrigsis8V. Very uh, interesting name you got there. Now before we get started, let me remind you of my method of reviewing, which involves a point system that is based on three fundamental attributes. The overall appearance of the mock, the build of the mock itself, and the concept and ideas behind the mock's creation. Each of these qualities will amount up to 10 points leading up to a final score that will be determined at the end of the episode. And please remember that this is all going to be based on my opinion. So let's get this started. Alright, this guy, he's big. He's mean. He ain't lean, he's bulky, and he's got lots of small details. First off, I'm gonna say that this mock has a really cool looking silhouette. He's kinda demonic, he's got these horns on his head, he's got two sets of wings, and he's bulky. Like, he looks like he can mess you up. Speaking of messed up, I gotta say though that the torso appears a little bit, actually a good bit, cluttered. And I could definitely do without the chains and the necklace. Just considering how much detail is already put into it as is, it kind of becomes less cohesive. In fact, that's actually like the main criticism I have for this mock overall is that there's not much consistency or flow. Another example would be the color scheme, which looks pretty good. I do like the black and the gold and the green accents. However, I will say that the gold distribution is a little bit messy. There's like these random little tiny bits of gold here and there that look a little bit tacked on. And while I do like the green shield pieces on the back in terms of color, like it is nice to have some green in this area, the aesthetic of the shields don't really fit the rest of this mock. And now this really confuses me because I'm looking at the head and I can't tell if it has any eyes. And if it does have eyes, is it like this blue and this gray thing here at the front of the face and if so why aren't these eyes green why are they gray and blue why is there even blue at all it's kind of weird we already got some green use green another thing i don't think really works that well is the cloth piece that is on his right shoulder in some of these pictures like i don't know it looks like it would be cool if it was pulled off better i guess because if you look at the waist area there's a piece of cloth here and it looks way better and way more suited for this portion of the mock than this thing on his shoulder then he's also got these ninjago stickers that are stuck onto his forearm arms that don't really work here either. However, I will say in this case, I think the stickers just would have looked a lot better if they were placed somewhere else. Maybe on like a smooth part of his chest, I don't know. Maybe his head. Because I like the idea of incorporating them somehow, I just don't think they work on the forearms. Now the sword for this guy looks pretty cool. I don't really have too many issues with this. In fact, I don't think I have any at all. But I do take issue with the hammer weapon he has because it doesn't look as cool as the sword. It looks really simple, has a lot less detail than the rest of the mock. Even the sword has more detail. This just kind of looks like Harley Quinn's hammer with less personality. Now when we take a look at the build, it actually looks pretty okay. It does its job quite well. It's a solid build. It keeps the figure standing up. He's got all this articulation, even articulated fingers. He can still hold his weapons with these articulated fingers, too. Like, usually that's pretty hard to pull off, but this is done excellently. I don't know how, but he did it. And while the use of system is a good way to incorporate some sort of small details onto the mock, it isn't really done tastefully here. Like, it could have been done a lot better, maybe with just a little bit more thought put into how he could potentially make some patterns out of these details, or I don't know. Because all in all, he's got a decent build, but I'm not seeing much creativity really being put into it. Like, the build of the arms and legs are quite simple. I'll commend him for making a custom torso, but I think it definitely could have been put together way better and honestly I feel like the most creative part about this mock is the head the head is so unique it was built creatively it's got some interesting details I just wish that the rest of the mock would hold up as well and then the mock also lacks a play feature function and normally I wouldn't really complain too much about this but at the very least, when it comes to this mock, I think it would have been cool to see if a function was implemented into the hammer, or the sword, or maybe even the wings, make them flap or something. Don't get me wrong, at the end of the day, I still think it's a pretty cool figure. It looks very much inspired, and I have no doubt that the builder actually had some good ideas going into it. I just think that the execution definitely could have been pulled off way better. His design could use a little bit of cleaning up, his build could have been pulled off a little bit more creatively. 
because I am interested in the idea of this figure. What you have presented here looks to be an interesting character. I just see so much potential for this character to become a much better figure than it already is. I'll give you this though, since this is apparently the ninth iteration of this mock, that I appreciate the constant and consistent improvements over the previous iterations. Because if you look at Fatu version 8.2, this guy, he looks kinda cool, but I definitely prefer the newer iteration. Back then he looked like uh, Big Buff Raka from Hero Factory. Now he looks like Big Buff Demon Guy with wings and all this other interesting stuff on him. Like it's it's impressive, honestly. So I just gotta say, next iteration, if you plan on doing one, I hope you do, because I'm a sucker for seeing Mox update and progress to looking cooler than they already looked. I would say take a step back. Get rid of all the unnecessary details, just make a solid figure, keep the wings, keep the horns, just clean up the body a little bit, maybe rebuild the arms or the legs, get real creative with it, and then later on start adding the gold armor pieces and maybe just not so many details to a point where the mock looks too busy. Now at this point, I don't really have much else to say, those are basically the last of my thoughts on this mock, so let's go ahead and sum it all up with the final scores and get this video wrapped up now, shall we? In terms of appearance, this mock receives a 6 out of 10. It looks interesting, but there's a lot of design problems that I have with this mock. Like I suggested earlier, I think it just needs a little bit of cleanup. In terms of the build, this mock receives a 7 out of 10. It's a solid build but I don't really see too much creativity with the parts. A function in the weapons definitely would have been nice, you know, and some details could have been implemented way better. Like, it does have a decent build, it does its job and everything, but the wow factor is a little bit low for me. And in terms of the concept, this mock receives a 7 out of 10. There's definitely some cool ideas implemented into this mock, but they weren't pulled off all that well. I think they could have been pulled off way better. And I can't stress this enough that I think this mock has so much potential. With all that said, we are left with a final score that all adds up to a 20 out of 30. All in all, great job to you Tyrig Sis. Congrats for making it onto the mock spotlight. I do sincerely hope to see more out of you and your interesting creations. And of course, as always, same goes for the rest of you viewers. If you have any of your own mocks that you wish to share and potentially get onto the mock spotlight sometime, post to our message boards at board.ttvchannel.com where you are more than welcome to post pics of your own mocks under the LEGO Creations category. All you really have to do is make something creative. Show me that you've got some interesting ideas that you want to put out on the table and then we'll talk about getting you on a mock spotlight in the future. So until then, I thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.